we went with a sister, a Catholic sister. We went to a sort of convent in central Kigali and we saw about probably a hundred of terrified people and it was on it was under the basement I think of, of a building and she told she told us look these people have been chased away and they are terrified and we are trying to hide them and most of them are Tutsis you know and we don't know we pray God and uh, just as we went out of that place we had a, a group shouting and uh, there was a, a young guy running, panicked, terrified, with three or four guys behind him, chasing him with weapon, with a machete. And that guy came and the sister stopped, stopped these four guys. She calmed them down and she touched one of them on the head here. She said, my son, it's going to be okay. Just leave that guy now. And I went. I never know what happened to that guy. He managed to, to disappear, you know. But, you know, at that time, I, it never occurred in my mind if, you know, is that a genocide or what? I mean, having seen in a day a pile of 400 bodies, having seen somebody and, and you know, bodies lying in the streets being eaten by dogs, and having heard the guy from ICRC quoting uh, a number uh, of, of, of 20,000, 10 or 20,000 Tutsis in Kigali, plus an uncertain amount of Tutsis being slaughtered all around the country, for me was good enough to use this word genocide.